Hey everybody, Quilty Marie here. So, we're ready to start our new quilt. And we're gonna we're gonna do what I call a pimp dot pinwheel, but the official name of it is the disappearing uh pinwheel. Okay, and this is it. It's the disappearing pinwheel, but I call it a pimp dot pinwheel because it takes so much work to get it done. Okay? So we picked out our colors. My wife went to this, we went to the store, she got her colors. And yes, this, this quilt's for her and for the bed, all right? Because all the other quilts that we put down, the dogs have a habit of tearing out, that, which keeps me in business, and I like it, okay? My, my quilts do everything, but they don't, they're not pit bull proof, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our cuts of our fabric, and we're gonna just go forward from here, okay? So we went with a black, and we went with this red from Brother and Sister Design Studios. Uh, we picked this up from uh, Hobby Lobby, and it was like a thirty percent off price. It was a pretty good price, and that was the only that was the only place that had the colors that she really liked. Okay, so if you look up look up my live video, the one where she runs up and is like, well, "What about this one?" <laughs> this is the fabric that she liked. Okay, so let's 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 start it. Okay, this is our pimped out pinwheel, or the disappearing nine patch. Okay. And we'll go forward from here. All right. So over here we got our black. Okay. So I'm going with a bigger block. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going with a 14 inch block to start with. Um, I like it. I like the. I like this pinwheel, the pimped out pinwheel, because in a bigger size, because you get to see it. The you get to see the work a little bit in more detail. Okay. But also, don't forget, when you're doing it in this size, you get to see all, all the mistakes that you make. But remember, you guys, are, you guys are riding with me. It's only fabric and it's only thread. The mistakes are, are its talent, okay? Those are features that, that I enjoy, all right? No snobs allowed. We make mistakes, and our mistakes make our quilts different, okay? I love your quilts because your quilt has... Features in it that no one else will have. They're one-off quilts, okay? So don't get wrapped around the wheel. Don't let anybody tell you you have to do anything, okay? There's no rules to this. The only rules to this is do not cut your own hand or, or stitch your own hand, okay? All right, so let's start this off. All right, so I picked up some black. And uh, all right, so I went to Walmart, right? And I, and I got some black. And this is what you get when you get Walmart. Look at this, all right? Look at that. Really? He cut that with scissors. I was like, dude, have you been drinking? What's going on? But no. All right. So when you before you start anything, get that edge out of there. All right. So we're gonna I'm gonna put this on the 25 25 inch line here. And I'm just gonna cut that off. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at this. What are you doing? He did that with scissors. Walmart has everything. They have cutters, they have cutting mats, but they refuse to use it. Okay. So let's go ahead and Let's make this true edge here. And go ahead and get this nice and cleaned up here. Get that cut there. All right, so now we have a nice edge. So I'm going with a 14 inch block. So using my center, all right, because this is a 12 inch block, I'm just going with another inch on each side and in in total distance all the way around okay so i'm just going to put my true edge here on the 25 yard line or the 25 the 25 inch line sorry got football on the brain all right and one inch younger than the 12 is the 11 okay so we're going to cut here at the 11. i know you guys want me to bust out the laser but i don't need it right now don't worry, it's going to get used. I'm going to be using my laser, okay? I'm going to cut that right there. Safety first. All right, my blade's getting a little dull. Okay, so. We have 14 inches, okay? Now, I'm just going to turn it sideways, all right? I'm going to put it on the... See, now you see this edge? See how that looks kind of janky right there? All right, we're going to cut that too. So I'm going to put that on the 
I'm gonna make sure this inch line appears even with my fabric so that, that I know, because I just made a true cut, right? So uh, that I know that when I cut down this 11 inch, it's, it's level and it's even. You can see it on this side too. You see how I'm, I'm right along that line right there? All right, so we're just gonna put it on the 11 inch marker there. I keep wanting to say yard line, all right? All right, so from the 11, we're going to where? The 25, right? Because we're doing 14 inches, right? Okay. We're on the 25 yard line here. Made our cut. We got 14 inches, see that? 14 all the way around, okay? One inch all the way around beyond the 12, right? 14. And we did it, we did two pieces. Remember, we folded it in half, okay? So we have two pieces of black ready to go. All right, so let's bust out some red here. All right, so my wife was running around the store loving this right here. And this is what we're gonna work with. So we're gonna do it again, right? True, I got a true, my true edge is on 25 here. pull this up so I have some 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 mat to cut on yes I'm looking for a new mat I need a larger mat this mat I think has run its course although I've seen a couple of videos where you can revive your your uh, your self-healing mat and I'll probably do that but for right now yes I'm looking for a larger mat to, to take over the whole table okay I've had this mat since I started so it's two and a half years old all right, so 11 and 11 here. We're going 11. So we're going to cut this. All right, there we go. Remember, we just did we just did this, right? So we're going to turn it sideways. All right, I'm sure there's 9 million experts out there to tell me how to do it in a different way. But look, we're doing it. This is new quilter style, okay? We're not experts at this. All right, we're, we're, we're new at it. And we're learning as we go and there's no rules right it's only fabric and it's only thread okay so we're wide enough okay so we're gonna make sure this is on the line here I'm trying to go as fast as I can here I don't want you like spending your whole day on a video watching me cut okay so here we go the 11 inch line you could be watching Aston Martin Vulcan videos. There are plenty of those out there. I advise you take a look at that Aston Martin Vulcan. Great car. It's a lotto car. Yes, it is. All right, so here we go. 11 to 25. All right. 14 inch block, right? All the way around. Be safe with your rotary cutters, please. All right. And we have two pieces. Okay, so let's just match these up. All right, right sides up. Right sides facing. Okay, so I don't know if in, okay, so when you have solid colors, there's a way to tell what the right side is, okay? And it's in, this, it's in the thread, all right? So I don't know if you could tell, but look at the thread right here. Look how close that is, all right? Let's take a look, and now let's peel this over and take a look at that. There is a difference, all right? And the difference is if you can see the stitches, for some reason you can see the stitches on one side, and then on the other side, I don't think you can tell through the camera. And on the other side, you can't because they're closer together, all right? Trust me, you can see. So when you get some, when you get a solid color, take a look at it, and you'll be able to tell. You'll be like, oh man, he's right, all right? All right, right side's facing, right? You just cut. Great uh, cuts, okay? Now, sometimes when you match them up and you see this edge right here, but you know that the other edge is on, sometimes you do this, all right? And I saw, who was it I saw do this? It might have been, it might have been Jenny from, it might, might have been Jenny from uh, Missouri Star, all right? But you just push with your nail a little bit, push out, and it, and it stretches the, the fabric into place. See, I didn't give up anything on this edge, but it fit over there, right? Okay, right side's facing. And all we're going to do is, because we're making a pinwheel first, right? 
All we're gonna do is put these together and we're gonna put our quarter inch seam allowance around the edge. All right? Quarter inch seam allowance goes around the edge. We got one on standby over here. We're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance. Now I'm using, I'm using um, a white top, a white, white, no, it's like a tan, uh, silverish gray top thread because I want you to see the stitch line. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot here and see how it goes. Yeah, I picked up a, that tool to keep my thread being, so my thread feeds off the spool in a, in a direction that is not, I don't know, counterproductive, I don't know what you would say, but. Sometimes the, the, the thread would come off the spool and twist, and then by the time it gets down to the needle, it's twisted, and I was cutting, and I was breaking thread. All right, that's what I'm gonna blame. That's the excuse I'm gonna use. All right, here we go. Let's try this quarter inch. Okay, so those of you who want to know, here's my quarter inch right here. My quarter inch seam allowance on the deck of the sewing machine, okay? And that's what I'm gonna use. All right. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going all the way off. You can stop, pivot the and pivot the material and then go the other way. That works too, all right? Use what you're comfortable with, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go all the way around, and when we come back, I'll show you a finished product, all right? We're gonna do quarter inch seam all the way around, and then when I come back, I'll show you what we're gonna have, and then we're gonna cut it up, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, so we have our quarter inch seam sewn all the way around, all right? And what we're gonna do is, remember how we did pinwheels before, right? We go corner to corner, all right? So we're not going corner to corner on the fabric. We're going corner to corner on the stitch, all right? Corner to corner here. Make sure you're straight. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna cut that, all right? Exactly where we're gonna cut, from corner to corner. All right, once you cut, don't disturb it, okay? Go to, go the other way without breaking it apart. Corner to corner, again. That's Daria tearing something up. I don't know what she's tearing up. Might be one of my socks. Okay, so, corner to corner, sorry for yellow. All right, so we have our cut, right? Right there. All right, and you know what we're gonna do, right? So we're just gonna open it up. Look at that, all right? I'm gonna open it up so that we can match our corners of our pinwheel. I need to turn my iron on because we're gonna be ironing and get open. Open that up. Open this one up here. Open up here and here. Pretty simple, right? It's easy, it's not hard, okay? So, we wanna open these up, we're gonna iron our creases open, all right? And remember what you do, right? We, we iron to the dark side. When you open this up, we're gonna iron this over to the dark side, so it can't be seen on the light side, all right? So we, wanna, we want our squares, our seams to be nice and, uh, what is that? Okay. So we wanna, wanna iron to the dark side. So you put the, the light side down and just iron over the crease, okay? That's it. Iron right to the dark side.
right, so it's okay. You can iron on top of the other one. All you're doing is giving heat to the one underneath. It's all right. No worries, right? No worries, no snobs. All right? We're all quilting together. Iron right, to the dark side. Okay. All right, guys. So, you know, just take your time, all right? No rush, all right? It's not a race. These are, this is your baby too, all right? Your quilt too, all right? So we're gonna match this baby up. All right, so it goes like this, right? I think, yeah, that way, that way. See it coming together already? That way, and that way. All right, so we're gonna sew it together. We need to make a pinwheel, because once we sew this together, we're gonna we're, we're pretty much gonna cut it up, all right? So we're gonna match up this side to this side, all right? Now you're gonna be doing some nesting, all right? So we're gonna be nesting some corners here. Remember what we did when we nest, right? Matching up the corner, that's all we're doing, all right? And then we're gonna sew down one side. We're gonna sew down this side right here, all right? Let's give that a shot, all right? Quarter inch seam here. All right. All right. So once we once you get that together, we're gonna we're gonna iron it open again. All right. We're gonna iron to the dark side again. Iron it over to the dark side. Okay. Booyah. All right. So which one's next? Take a guess. Okay. You got it right. You guys have been learning. Look at that. We're going to do this side. We're going to nest that corner up. All right. We're going to nest that corner up. Nice and neat. I'll slide it down a little bit here. Here we go. That's close enough for government work. All right. So. All right. over to the dark side again and what do we have there we have what's called um, we have what's called a pinwheel all right and our pinwheel is ready to be sewn together Okay, so we're putting these two together, these two halves, right? So we need to nest that. And this is an important nest, okay? So the nest, this nest is important because we want that center line to match this center line. Don't worry about anything else. We want this center line to match the center line over here. So what I'm going to do is nest that, okay? So look, get into the habit of using a pin when you nest, all right? I haven't been... So I'm trying to fly through this so we can move on because there's, there's a few steps we need to make for this, okay? But I'm going to pin this for right now. All right, so we're, we're sewing in this direction right here. All right, we're coming down this way, sewing down here, and this is where our nest is, all right? We're going to use a quarter inch seam, and we're going to go for it, all right? Let's see what this turns out to do here. All right. Wrench here. All right, so this thing just goes right through intersections 
without stopping at all, okay? Now that we've got it together, let's iron it open. Let's see what, ooh, here we go. That looks pretty good for a jar head, right? Look at that. Let's go ahead and make that seam, push that seam down. And let's iron this thing open. All right, so this is the pinwheel, okay? And we're gonna dice. I mean, it's nice as it is, right? It's nice, right? I know it is. I you can dice. You can tell me. It's nice. Hey, those are the boys trying to take Daria's stuff. All right, I got one female, and Daria is always getting picked on by the boys. Okay. All right, this is it. All right, so. Say bye to the pinwheel. <laughs> disappearing pinwheel. This is why it's called disappearing pinwheel because we're going to cut it up. But we're calling it the pimp dot pinwheel because this is what I like to do. And we're on my page. Okay. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to measure. All right. From the center line. One and a half inches on each side. Okay. So let's start on this side right here. This side. Okay. We're going to measure one and a half inches. Now look on my on my uh, trusty, dusty Omnigrip, all right, I have a measurement that's one and a half inches. See this, where the six line is? All right, so that's a half inch right here, right? And this is the one inch line. See that? One and a half, okay? So this is how I do it, all right? So I'm gonna put that one inch, that, that one inch line on the center line of the seam okay so what i do is i try to aim inside this aiming port there's like an aiming port kind of like right there okay and that little aiming port is what i match onto the seam i don't know you can't you probably can't see it all right but i know if that aiming port is on the seam then the edge is one and a half inches okay so i want that aiming port on the seam from the top to the bottom one and a half one and a half right there Okay, and then we just cut. All right, you probably can't see it, but that's how I measure it from the center line. All right. All right, now I go the other way without disturbing it. Try not to disturb it, okay? Now I'm going to go the other way from the center line. Oh, just disturb it. From the center line. All right, from that center crease, all right, we're going one and a half inches over. All right, so I try to make sure it's on the center line here. I know it's hard to see. Okay, so we got our two center cuts. Now we're going to do the same thing going left to right, all right? Center line from left to right. Now I'm going to do one side here. I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle. In the middle. I'm going to go one and a half inches over. All right, let me get another. Let me get a better blade out here. All right, and we got one more cut to make, okay? I'm going to do the other side of that. Center cross line, the horizontal line, okay? Make sure I'm in the middle here. All right, so look, let me see if you can show, show you right here. All right, so you see inside here in that triangle right there? See how you see red, right? But the center line is up. So what I'm going to do is raise this up. Now I'm on center line, all right? And I do that on both ends, okay? Like if I'm on center line there and I'm on center line here, it counts. All right. Don't get wrapped around the wheel on it though. Okay. You you're allowed to make mistakes. All right. No one's life depends on the mistakes of your quilt. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna just cut this baby up. 
Mm. All right, this is what we got. All right, so this is all we're going to do. We're going to pull our pieces out and turn them around. There we go. I'm going to pull this one out, turn it around. Pull this one out, turn it around. Sorry. Pull this one out. Oh, sorry. It's a bad cut. I'm going to pull this one out and turn it around. And look what we have. I think you would call that a disappearing pinwheel. Or pimped out pinwheel. You choose. Look at that thing. That thing's ready to go, right? It's ready to rock and roll. All right? So that's all we're going to do. So when we come back, what we're going to do is we're going to sew these pieces together. All right? We're not going to be able to get that done in, in less than a 700-hour video. All right? But when we come back, I'll individual, I'm going to individualize each sewing, sewing port. Okay? But, you know, if I try to do it now, then you'll be here until your birthday. All right? I really appreciate you watching. We'll come back. Don't worry. We're going to come back and finish it off. I, I know you're like, oh, he's not going to finish it. We're going to finish it. That's the next video, okay? I really appreciate you watching, all right? Remember, it's only fabric. It's your own thread. It's not brain surgery, all right? No one's life depends on it, all right? If you make a mistake, it's only a mistake. It's only fabric. It's only thread, okay? Please subscribe, and thank you for watching.